morning guys it is maintenance day on the campers so as you learned from our last video we're having some issues trying to get someone to work on the camper even though it is march and our first trip's not until june um staffing issues or whatever the case um has prevented us from taking it to where we wanted to go and there's some other places a little further away so we're gonna hold off a little bit i do have some leads on someone that might actually come right to my house and do some stuff but i decided to look into some issues myself um i'm by no means a mechanic of any sort and never have claimed to be but uh, some of these issues i thought i might be able to tackle myself um so one of the issues was our passenger side blinker was not working on the camper the brake light was but no blinker so to me that says uh check the bulb first so i start on the rear of the camper by pulling the bulb everything looks good um, pulling that lens off was super easy so i decided to pop off the other one and switch the bulbs and lo and behold still passenger side no blinker and the driver's side worked fine so at this point i think it's a wiring issue so i go to the front of the camper where we know we had a nick in it from when we bought the camper so the nick was pretty small but it went through one wire which prevented my trailer brakes from working um, so we ended up cutting into the wiring harness to expose all the wires and um, so it looks a little bit worse now but we wanted to make sure every wire had good connection for my ride home um, it was actually a snowy day so we wanted to make sure we were safe as well as other travelers on the road were in any danger so we cut everything and anything even with the smallest nick um, we put a wire nut on so i went over all those everything was good so then i crawled under the camper traced everything from there back to and made sure there was no mice biting or anything like that going on with the wire in which i did not find anything um, so at this point we got the truck and the camper so the next thing i did is i took the truck and i backed it over here to my utility trailer which has the same seven pin and all my lights worked so i was like awesome so it's not the truck it's not any fuses in the truck um, so then I backed up to the camper and I said for the heck of it I'm gonna look inside the seven pin connector and what I found was some of those were spread kind of far apart and when those plug into your truck they go around a male end and you should have tight connection on both sides giving it a good connection well because some of those were spread apart I took a screwdriver and pushed on each side of it to kind of force it closed a little bit, plugged it back into the truck, and everything worked. So maybe I should have started with this side instead of the back side, but typically when a light's not working, I go to the bulb first. That's just how I operate. Um, but it kind of would have sucked if that was our only issue to take a day to bring that i would have had to have arian follow me because i wouldn't have had a blinker and they would have spent about probably a minimum of an hour because i know a lot of shops if you take something it's a minimum of an hour for pay and that be the issue so obviously we're swapping out this seven pin cord for a new one because we're not just gonna do the wire nut system um, but it's nice to know my blanker's working and it's not a broken off wire somewhere inside of the camper Because you would have to take down all of the plastic underneath to get to that So we are all set there and I think today's plan is to Install the level mate pro that we got and what that is is a device that goes inside the camper and Bluetooth to your phone and it will tell you if you're level or not and it will tell you however you want to set it right down to a quarter inch i believe um so when we back into a spot we look on the phone and we say we got to go up two inches on the left side we know immediately and with our style stairs that you have to take down um it's kind of a pain to keep guessing and checking so it's going to be nice to know that 
So I'm gonna get the kids out here and see if they will help me. And we'll get those measurements that we need to take for that to work. So we'll see you guys in a little bit and I'll see if the kids are awake and fed and if they want to come outside in the cold with me. Okay, so I got the group of weirdos out here with me, G and Chloe, and we are going to set up the LevelMate Pro leveling system. We've already leveled the camper up, so you're gonna start with it level. Um, I got the app on my phone, and I'm gonna do another registration thing on the board, so you don't have to see that name, phone number, how awesome is Dustin out of the one out of 10, which probably the 10. So we put that in. So now we're gonna take a quick measurement. Chloe, the measurer. I got G, the note taker. So we'll get everything measured up and then we'll uh, go from there. So the first measurement we gotta take is the wheelbase. So from outer wheel to outer wheel. We gotta get the measurement from the center of the front jack to the center of the rear wheel. So we'll get those two measurements right now and we will go from there. All right, so I don't really know if you guys can see this or not. Right there on the phone, we got our measurements in for the length and for the width. So we're gonna punch that in. We got some nice measurements from G over there and Chloe holding the tape. So wheelbase 96, the length is gonna be 220. We'll hit next. So now what it's gonna ask me to do is put the level mate in the position that I want it and then go sit in the truck and it's gonna do a signal strength type deal. So Chloe, you're gonna hold that like I showed you over here in the corner. And I'm gonna run out into the truck. I'll be back in just a second. All right, so we're good there. So the label needs to face the driver's side, label face the passenger side, label face the front or the rear. So we are facing the passenger side. Idle time until sleep. We could probably keep that at one hour. Um, it's electric, so when it's plugged into the truck, it doesn't really matter. And then when we get the campground, wake on motion, sure. All right, so measurement display resolution. So we can get this to 0.25 inches. So a quarter inch level, half inch, one inch, or 1.25. Um, I was told the quarter inch is really finicky and kind of bounces back and forth as you walk and it might throw it off a little bit. Um, but we can always change that. I'm gonna leave it at quarter inch. Uh, we don't have slide out, so we're going to skip this step. And we are all set up here. So we're going to play with this. Uh, everything's installed other than just uh, screwing it to the wall. And this is going to make things a lot easier. So we'll go from there. All right guys, so this thing is awesome. So check that out, check out the zeros. Everything's leveled up right now. Um, I'm gonna drop this a little bit and show you guys kind of what it does.
All right, so you see that bottom one right there, down 0.75. So we're down three quarters of an inch on that front end. So I'm just gonna raise that up. And I wanna know this when I'm inside the truck, okay? Boom, zero. That's as easy as it goes. Um, side to side, same thing. If it's an inch off and we need to go an inch up on one side, um, all we gotta do is put one, one inch block under there and we're good to go. So there it is, everything's installed. The blanker's fixed. Um, the Level Mate Pro is installed. I did learn this is actually a Level Mate Pro Plus. Uh, this one you can plug into the camper, to the electricity, um, and it'll obviously work when you're plugged into the truck. The Level Mate Pro is a battery powered one. I didn't want to have to mess with the battery, take that in and out, and, and you have to keep messing with that. I believe you'd have to turn it on every time you get to your campsite. So we didn't want to do that. Um, we wanted to make this as easy as possible because that's the point of the whole thing. Um, so we are done. Our honeydew list on the camper is done today. We have a lot more to do inside of the house. Um, before Arianne gets out of work so we can go get everything ready for the week um, So we do have our Instagram 207 ice to woods. We have a Facebook. Please go on there uh, Shoot us a friend request any questions comments concerns you guys have we like to hear from you guys uh, We do have some stickers available too that we are sending out. I believe we're getting low if you want some uh, Let me know and as always I want to remind you guys you're not subscribing to YouTube. You're subscribing to Adventure. Absolutely. And we are pumped to take you guys along.